Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Marie Callender Sides. This one is the Sweet Corn Casserole. It's sweet whole kernel, whole corn kernels in a creamy cornmeal batter with a touch of cheddar cheese. Um, you can do this in the oven or the microwave, which of course we're going to do in the microwave. Uh, let's see, it's 13 ounces or 368 grams. Um, it is frozen, so when you buy this in the frozen department, we bought this at Meyer. It was $4.99, which isn't too awfully bad, but it looks like there's a lot of I don't know, it almost looks like a cornbread with corn. <laughs> That's what it kind of looks like. Turn you up here a little bit. Um, so per serving is, is uh, two thirds of a cup, 144 grams is 390 calories. If you eat the whole thing, it's 990 calories. So it's just whatever way you want to do it. Let's see, here's the directions. Turn you back down. So if you want to do it in the oven, you can. There's the directions for the oven. Of course, we're going to do the microwave. So we're going to cook one at a time, peel back the corner of the film to vent, cook for four minutes, stir, which is interesting, uh, recover and cook for one and a half, one to two minutes. I guess stir, I was expecting it to be more solid. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, so I'll probably do four, then stir it up and then do like a minute and a half. And it's usually pretty safe to split it in half for me. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay, it's it's literally like a batter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get this in the microwave. I'll vent a corner. I guess I'll just pop this corner up right here and I uh, get it in the microwave and I'll be back. Hey, okay, here here it is out of the microwave and um, it was really really like soupy and gross looking when I first started it up after the first four minutes. It still doesn't look that much better, honestly. It didn't dry out a lot. It's still very very like soupy. Um, I don't know. Most corn casserole is a little thicker than this but maybe I don't know maybe in the oven it would be do better I'm gonna show you the picture yeah, here's a good picture of it look it's got it's, it looks drier like more like cornbread but I guess it's a little wet I don't I don't know anyway we're gonna take it over the table try it out I'll let you know what I think all right so I'll let it cool off for the I let it sit for one or two minutes like it said and then I'll let it cool off for another I don't know like 30 45 seconds or so so here we go it's got corn and cornmeal or maybe a little cheese I don't know the cheese you can't actually see I think it's just all mixed in so here we go hot not as bad as I thought it was gonna be texture I wish was still a little drier um it's kind of like it's almost like grits so if you ever eaten grits it's kind of like that kind of texture it's not quite as wet but it's um it's pretty still like wet it's it's very loose it's very very hot though because it's mostly liquid the corn has a little bit of a chew to it as well um a little a buttery flavor to that one. The corn is nice. It does have a little, um, you know, some corn is very, very tender and some corn has a little bit more of a toughness. This one's on the tougher side. As far as the skin goes, it's a little tougher when you chew it. Um, the texture of the, the casserole itself overall is a very kind of mushy kind of texture. Um, I don't know, I think I was expecting more of a cornbread kind of texture than a, um, a mushy kind of texture, but eh, I mean, I could live with the texture. It needs to be firmer for me to really enjoy it, but it, it's okay. Um, yeah, it never gets better. It's it's always going to have that, that texture. So, yeah, texture-wise, it's just a... It's for me, it's kind of like a no go for me. It's just the texture is not that great. Um, and I could live with the texture if the flavor was really, really good. The flavor is just not that great either. Um, it's very bland, flat, plain flavor. Um, you get a cornmeal flavor, you get a little bit of the corn flavor, and that's it. That's all you get. There's no seasonings. They say a little bit of cheese, you don't get any cheese flavor at all. Um, it needs some seasonings in there, some. I don't know, some peppers and onions or something in there to, to spice up a bit. It's very, very, very plain. Um, maybe that's what you're looking for if you're looking for the corn casserole. is something very, very plain. This is super, super plain. 
and there's a little bit of a I don't know if it's um, some kind of margarine or butter flavoring or something they've used in there it's a little bit strange or some kind of oil there's something they put in there that's supposed to give it something else um, you know like a little boost of flavor and, and it just doesn't taste very good it also is very greasy it like lives at least my lips like greasy feeling like um, like it's got a lot of oil in it this for me is a no-go I would never eat that um, I probably won't eat any more of it to be honest with you uh, this one for me is like a two out of five I don't give very many um, below three uh, this is one I wouldn't necessarily recommend you do now I am going to say this is in the microwave they gave me microwave directions so if they didn't want me if it wasn't going to be successful in the microwave don't give me a microwave directions I won't buy that but people can do it in the oven since they did do it not they did give me microwave directions I'm going to make it in the microwave and assume that the company knows that it's going to work that way if it works better in the oven more power to you you know you can you can try in the oven and, and eat it that way at least in the microwave for me that's all I can speak for it does not work texture is not great it's very mushy uh, pasty um, the corn is tough um, the flavors are not that great it's very just cornmeal-y it's not even uh, it's not even a good nice corn flavor it's just cornmeal-y um, who wants a mouthful of cornmeal unless you're eating cornbread that's different um, yeah so for me this is a two out of five I, I personally would not buy this one ever again and I, unless you're just like I said unless you want to try in the oven and see if it's any better go for it but um, I, I don't think you'll like the flavor of it even if you did because the flavor is not going to really change much just even if the texture does so um, yeah you'll probably see this again at the end of the month so I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching